hello everybody welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create this design they call it shadow design I think yeah so let's start first I'm going to my um, text editor and I'll write the words painters in capital letters I'll make it bigger and I'm going to going back here and I'm going to change the font to Rockwell extra bold okay I'll copy I'll duplicate it and I'll put it over here this one and we're going to use this one um I'm going to open open the fill and stroke um, panel just um, stand here on the on the word text and the right click and then you choose fill and stroke okay fill and, or you can just press control plus shift plus F or you go to object fill and stroke is the same okay okay now i'm going to create a border for this um word this text but i also want to i don't want them to uh, um want them to be too close to each other i'm gonna create spaces between the letters i'll go back to text editor i'll keep this selected and i'll go here spacing between letters and I'll, I'll press the upper button I'll press it and hold and let it go and the spacing between these will be bigger and bigger let's try again you see how it goes how it moves <clears throat> okay I think the old line will work on this one I'll go to selecting to my selecting tool and I'll go to stroke and here flat color stroke I'll add a stroke to it it's black the stroke is black and I'm gonna change the style the color of the stroke by pressing here you see that you see the stroke and I'm going to the stroke style I'll put it to seven pixels seven pixels Okay, let me zoom in. Seven pixels. I think this will work. Okay. Now I'm going, I'm, I'll keep this selected. I'll go to the fill. And I'll X out the fill. The black will be gone. I'll exit out. Now I'll go to, this is a, this is a outline. This is a stroke. I'm going to turn the stroke to pad. Go to pad, keep it selected, go to pad, stroke to pad. Okay, now this is a pad and I will be cutting it. I will be cutting this in the middle. I'll go to my Bessier tool. I'll stand here, click, drag, left click, right click. Let's do it again. <clears throat> Bessier tool stand here click drag left click right click okay now I'm going to this line is a stroke too I'm going to turn it into a pad I'll keep the line selected I'll go to pad stroke to pad yeah this is a pad okay um I'll select both and I want the line to be uh, um, a straight line because I draw it by hand and it can be a little off. It, 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 I don't think it's uh, a, a, a too straight line, like 90 degrees. I'll keep this selected and I'll open my distribute and align panel by pressing Ctrl, Shift, plus A. Here you see it. Align and distribute panel. Con shift plus Control plus A. And I will 
center the both of them on horizontal axis and I will come here distribute event center okay I think this one uh, fix it already now I'm going I'm, I'll keep both selected like they are I'll go to pad and I'll go to difference now you see if you zoom in you will see where I cut the the <clears throat> the word with the fine fine line i had okay so now i'm going to break it apart because i want the upper part to be up here and the lower part to be down here and the the black the black letters to be in the middle i'll keep it selected i'll go to path and i'll choose break apart yep okay um now i'm i want this I, want, I i don't want it to be like this i'm going in and i'll select the inside i'll select the outside and i'll press control minus um, let me go to the other one right here zoom in with three keep it selected select the outside control minus okay Okay, now I'm going to select the, the the upper side. You see, I have it. And I'll go to Pad Union. I'll unite it all. And then I'll push it up. And I'll select this again. I'll select it too. Go to Pad Union. Okay, I have this part. Now I'm going to duplicate this one by comp by pressing Ctrl plus D, and I'll lift it up here. One more time, Ctrl plus D, and I'll put it here. I'll select all. I'll go to distribute center. Equidist equidistantly, equidistantly vertically. I press on this. And it will fix it for me and this one too yeah and i'll group them and now i'll go to this one duplicate mm. i'll duplicate it twice i'll select all i'll go back here okay and i will group them too now I'm going to group this um no I'm going to select this boat and set let's see, this one yeah center on vertical axis so that they can align well I'll go to this word panther you see there's a, a um there's a, a um a square uh, a square here a tiny block here that means it's still text it's not a pad i'm going to turn it into pad i'll go to I'll keep it selected go to pad object to pad and then i'm going to object and i'm going to ungroup it and then i'm going to pad again and then union okay now it's a pad and i'm going to move it here let me see yep like it's a little let me make it bigger yes and push it a little bit yep and i'm gonna put this one here let me see these two i'm going to group and then I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to center to vertical axis. And then I'm going to group group it all. If you want you can also change the color here. Everything the red the the red you put it into black. You put it into blue and this one blue. I'm going to um, select them 
group them all like i said and save my file okay this is how you this is one of the ways to create this um popular shadow um text word thank you so much for watching if you have questions please um comment and i will come back and reply to you thank you so much for watching